after Moses died, Joshua and the Israelites ran through the land of Canaan killing everything. Yeah. And Joshua was an old man when he did that. He's like 90 years old and battle just better than everybody on the battlefield. 90 years old plus. You know, I mean, you, you can see like a little bit of it. Or you know, um, you know like, like sometimes like comedians will joke about, you know, even um, you know, especially like Judah. I forget which comedian it was, but um, like he was just talking about how like even though like they're like really old, right, um, or you know, they still Yeah. Like I even know um uh, like like certain like um uh, like people in their seventies or eighties with like Alzheimer's but they can still like, box. And shit. Yeah, my my daddy my, my daddy my daddy is the reason why I ain't dead and that's facts. He he is the reason why I didn't get I didn't fall further down that that path. But um he definitely my daddy right now is sixty and he's still laying uh, sewer pipes. Like do you know how strong like yo I'm I'm I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. And I tell you what, he was looking at me like, get your punk hands up. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> he was definitely, you know, so I, I definitely agree with a lot of things y'all say, man. I definitely wish I had more time, man. I'm, I'm kind of on a mission. But, yo, man, I salute to what y'all doing, man. Real shit. I mean, can't help it. I'm a project kid. But, yeah, man, salute, man. That's his big. I could go going in this song, it's only for the 144,000. So, the second answer is 5 51. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that beareth children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are, are not they whom thou hast now are brought forth, like those that were before, but less of stature? And she shall answer thee. Oh, oh yeah, that was it. Read that part again. What did it say? Uh, Second Ezra 5 and 52. Say unto her, Wherefore are, are not they who thou hast now brought forth like, like those that were before, but less of stature? Hey, I'll keep going. It doesn't say it's keep going on. Oh, that's when I was looking for. It didn't say we is less of stature than we was before. Right, right, verse 53. And she shall answer thee, They that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion. And they that are born in in the time of age, when when the womb faileth, are otherwise. Or consider thou therefore also how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, because you look at the uh, like Joshua was a good example. He was an old man just running through them Canaanites. Oh, yeah. And uh, you know there was some like studies back on. Or you know, like um, they were talking about you know, like men from like the 40s, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and all that. You know, with each de decade, like the testosterone levels were uh, decreasing. Oh yeah. Right from um, from like age to age. Yeah, because uh, you know, in the plastic bottles, they got that uh, uh, estrogen in the plastic bottles. You heard about that? They put high levels of estrogen in the food, like soy. If you uh, eat salad dressing, like you get some Italian salad dressing, got is made out of soybean oil which has high levels of estrogen in it, which makes men grow titties and act like a bitch. Flaxseed, uh, flaxseed, uh, yeah. So they're doing that on purpose, man. That's why you got all these dudes that have feminine, acting all weak. They, they fucking with our food, man. I, I don't put, I don't get, eat no soy. I check that shit. You get, you want to get some good oil, uh, uh, salad dressing, they give you some olive oil. Hemp oil? You gonna eat that? Yeah. Or yeah. nothing at all. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's even better, right? You gotta think I need the flavor. Hey, what's that scripture said about most people got to have the ranch? Ran oh, the ranch has uh, gelatin in it. Yeah. I mean, hey, but you, hey, are you, you gonna get destroyed? You ain't ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not all of you just gotta check it. You know what I mean? I don't. I try my best not to eat no no gelatin, cause gelatin's made out of uh, pig bones, horns, cow horns. Yeah, fat uh, hooves, hooves. They got people eating hooves and bones out here. Right, so Saint Mark. Right, uh, 16 and 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so you know that he, that links up to um, I forget where in like Ezekiel, like the whole spiel about um, you know, eating like the defiled bread. Yeah. All right, you know. Um, yeah, we eat defiled bread. All right, but um, all right, you know, like basically. All right, and it's funny because um, like you ever see that um, there's this like one bread and cereal company, like named after that like Bible verse. They only um. They only they only use like the good verse as far as like grinding the mill, but then you know when just like a few verses down then then like uh, the verses about like pieces and shit like they hit all that out. But there's, a, there's an actual yeah you know, there's a bread and cereal company with um uh, like is it's Ezekiel or right people always like to do that use a half the scripture on it yeah it's so uh, I think it, the name of the company is like Ezekiel four and nine. Oh, really? Or right, just like it's all uh, talking about grinding like mill and like the grains and all that. Yeah. All right, but um, uh, but you know they they it's kind of like out of like context. Sure. Right, because Come on. It's talking about uh, you know, it's talking about like one of the curses sure. in tribulation yeah. that we have to go through. Right, as far as like um, uh, you know, like all this food, like they have all these uh, like chemicals that you, you got to look up like what this is that and all that. All right, but uh, yeah, you look on the back of a, uh, any food package, it looks like a science experiment. You can't pronounce half the ingredients. You gotta have a damn PhD in chemistry to understand that shit. Alright, Ezekiel. Alright, Ezekiel, alright, 4 and 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread, bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Right, that's us right now. We eating defiled bread among the Gentiles because America is really the kingdom of Edom. It's the kingdom of Edom because he's the one in power. Even though the majority of the citizens is Israelite, that's just like ancient Rome. It's the same deal. We, the elite is actually running shit as the Edomites. We can prove that too. Right, and, and we have all these, all, all, you know, like the heathens, it's mainly all or it's mainly like, um, like fucking like Moab, or you know that sets the people in front of shit food. Or they got that plastic rice, uh, cat, dog, and mice. Like remember that that song like, uh, like I don't know, like, I don't know the lady that's wrong. It's probably about a Moab by one. Take the deep and get it. No haters about it. We don't take haters. We don't want them. Shit like that. No haters. Or you know, and they, they sell them like, uh, like chicken and beef. Or you know, uh, and then there's like, uh, like, you know, it's mainly like in our, uh, it's those uh, he other heathen, like, uh, like, sell, like, uh, like in our neighborhoods, like, uh, you know, like Ishmael. You know, uh, like Ishmael's like, uh, like food, like, uh, like Middle Eastern food, like in general, that's similar to the food we ate in like the ancient world. Or you know, that in Indian food, but the food they serve us, you know, in those convenience stores that they set up, no, you know, it's like mostly like the file. Like one, of, one of my old ribs was just like, uh, so she lived in East Cleveland, she was just like, uh, never, eat, never eat food from this place. Like, you'll fuck up your stomach and all that. All right, but uh, then you have like Esau with his uh, McDonald's and shit like that. Hey, the majority McDonald's. of our food awesome. down here. And, and McDonald's uh, tested positive, sir, McDonald's tested positive for human DNA. You see that? That's a good point you made though. Like all the food, all the corn, you know they say I think it's like eighty percent of all corn is all genetically modified. Strawberries, apples, strawberries, yeah, everything's genetic GMO, you know what I mean? That's why soy is in everything. You know what I'm saying? Esau is just a part of the damn land seven, everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Because when you eat something that got, that's packed with nutrients and the actual minerals that the most I created in them, you feel a lot uh, fuller. Yeah. Like, now you and my mother, you get this damn watermelon from Mexico. Man, that, that means like this big, man, you eat one slice, that motherfucker, you full, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Probably, it has a big uh, thing to do with why we were so healthy in the ancient world. Exactly. Like this, what's so that what? scripture that you read uh, in that pocket? It said this egg was uh, a greater stature than us. Did that help? All the all the food we ate was more pure back. We had our own farm. We won't go into the grocery store in the ancient world. They didn't have, might have markets. You know what I mean? But it was all like localized. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, you know, you go 
you know, your uncle, he got, he got the best apples, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Your cousin over here, he got the best beef, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you knew where it all came from. Like, like, most of the people there was residents, like you knew the residents there. Like a local fisherman had a little fisher shop or something. Basically like the old like, yeah. like basically like the old fishing parks. Y'all remember the old fishing parks? Like they had one over there on the hundred five. Yeah. Like they had like the, the, the fish and all that shit laid out in the strips and the glass. They don't let that shit like that no more. I got a free set. Let's go read it. Oh, four hundred. Four hundred. Second essence. Consider thou therefore also all that ye are less of stature than those that were before you, Jesus. And so are they that come after you are less than thee. Alright, that's why you're reading the scriptures too, like what? It says people used to live to almost a thousand years old. The oldest man in the Bible is like 900 or something. And we can prove that we used to be a greater stature. When you look at the archaeology, you see all the different beasts of the earth. You used to have saber-toothed tigers. You used to have woolly mammoths. Everything used to be bigger, you know what I mean? So why can't people used to be bigger and live longer? More so that's that's how they came up with that old, that cunningly like divides fable of um, like evolution. The ice age. Yeah, and like they had like this one special like uh, they were showing like uh, spiders the size of like humans' heads. Oh shit! Like that. <laughs> Hey, the Lord gonna release them spiders. But um, well, you know, like that, you know, that that's just like a half truth and all that. All right, because they go into like, um, you know, like they're being like more oxygen and shit like that. Yeah, they say they have more oxygen, so they got bigger. Yeah. There's still big ass beasts on the earth. There was just a sighting of a megalodon shark in Japan. They had an actual a megal, they had a picture of it, a megalodon. Yeah, that's a gigantic shark. It makes a great white look like a goldfish. And there's some like, there's been many cases of like the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, that's like, like you said, like many people went there and never came back. So yeah. yeah, you don't want you don't want to go to the Bermuda Triangle. Boy. Yeah. Ain't gonna be no peace, only war. That's right. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I got a, I got a quick preset real quick. Uh, this is this is talking about Moses' death. They gonna tell you about Moses' health and what he was like when he died. Deuteronomy 34 and 5. So Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there in the land of Moab according to the word of Yahweh, and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Peor, but no man knoweth of his sepulture unto his day. Uh, and Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. So when Moses died, he had his complete wits about him. He had a perfect sight. Perfect. Yeah, hell, it was just time to go. You know what I mean? He, he was still he could still go run 20 miles. He'll still if they had basketball, he he would dunk on you. You know, I'm just putting it. You know, he he had full physical uh, force. Genesis chapter 4 verse 11 It's saying that thou art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand when thou tillest the ground it should not henceforth you to be her strength a fugitive and a vag vagabond shalt thou be in the earth hey. fuck Donald Trump <laughs> but in Genesis chapter 4 verse 11 it's saying thou art thou cursed from the earth which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. And when thou shalt up the ground, it shall henceforth you to thee her strength. Yeah, because yeah, that's talking about Cain. It's talking about Cain saying, Cursed thou thou be after you kill Abel. And they said, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not bring forth her strength. That's why the, that's why the ground is stuff like that. They don't bring forth the vegetables. The vegetables don't bring forth the vegetables. Bring forth the vegetables. They say, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth. You did to deep her strength. And I was just thinking too, you know, like Cain, that's the spirit of the Cain wasn't telling her to hurt. But he ain't got no love for creation. 
But you know when Jay get a garden going, he put his love and care into the garden. He like talking to the flowers, you know, singing to them. And, and, and their studies came out when you talk to a flower, it, it grows better. And when Esau looked at the flowers, you know, Esau the Cain, he got the spirit of Cain in him. When he, when he, he looked at the flowers, it was like money. He, he don't give a fuck. He's not nice to them. He's not nice to the earth, to the animals. It's like, you know, in Pootie, um, Pootie Train, they show you that. I don't know if y'all see that. Yeah, Pootie Train was growing that, uh, that, 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 that sunflower. Yeah. He was talking to them. I've been talking yeah, to my friends all the time. I'm going to talk to a tree. I'll, t I'll talk to a uh, flower before I talk to one of these assholes. How, how you doing? Kind of windy up here. But, but you see out here, like we in the city, there's no life. I mean, they got a little couple of trees they just planted. They're mostly just concrete. I, at one time, this was probably all forest right here. And it, the devil would come through and chop everything down because he hates creation. You know what I mean? He just hates life, so he, he wants death. That's it, why That's why majority of their buildings is made of like stone and concrete. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't like soil. You know what I'm saying? They like rocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, 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 they cave dwellers. Like a right to you read about Solomon, he made his house out of cedar wood. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's one of the, uh, that's one of the finest, like, um, I've actually, um, there was this, um, like, they talk about the cedars of Lebanon. Yeah. But there was this one, um, like, uh, when I was in Southern Ohio, there was this one, like, uh, like, Lebanese, like, restaurant. Like, and they had, like, little, little, uh, things, like, oh, yeah, I can made out of cedar wood. It's, like, very, it's, like, sturdy, but it's, like, very fine. It's one of like the finest, like, all. Uh, yeah, super like this stuff. Yeah. That kind of cedar is expensive too. It ain't cheap. But if uh, Obadiah, I'm going to start at 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Hey, yeah, see, yeah, that's why Esau is greatly despised. That's why your boy came by and said, what? He said, fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> and Donald Trump's an Edomite, okay? Because yeah. everybody's mad at this devil. That's why the whole world hates America. That, that's why Kim Jong Un want to destroy you, uh, American Edomites. Okay, that's that's why all the other nations hate you. The Africans hate America. The Europeans hate America. Russia hates America. Don't no country like America. Now, America is the kingdom of Satan. Okay, the the, the spirit of Satan is on on America. Okay. Hey, cause they did a, I was watching a, like an interview where they sent a bullshit the American over there in North Korea and he said how they hate Americans, man. But they, they talk about the so-called white, they not talking about Jake. You know what I'm right. saying? They talk about the, the, the head, the, the face of the um, sound, man. Right, cause, uh, cause Kim Jong-un loves uh, basketball. He's good friends with Dennis Rodman, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. He don't give a fuck about the rest of these people, man. And <laughs> hey, this verse three, it say the pride of thy heart have the CD that thou dwellest in the cleft of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith his heart, who shall bring him down to the ground. All right, this is talking about Esau. We know this is talking about uh, the so-called white man is a power. But it said his habitation is high, and he dwells in the cliffs of the rocks. Now you can see, who, 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 who put all these buildings up? Who financed the construction of these buildings? It was the, it was the Edomite that did that. Because he likes his habitation high, that's why the Esau, according to the Bible, is from Mount Seir, uh, which is a, a, a mountainous region, a desert mountainous region in modern-day Petra, Jordan, is where it's at. But he wants to turn the whole rest of the world in, into his land. He, he, he wants to make a, a America look like Mount Seir. So he turns forests into desert, into a wasteland. He wants to turn a paradise into a wasteland. Because y'all drove through America, right? It's a beautiful country out here, like on the way up here. We're coming from Columbus, you see those beautiful trees in the Then you get to the cities and you get disgusted. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a... Uh, hey, well give, it, give him time. If this devil gets time, he will chop everything down. He will turn the whole... Y'all will watch Star Wars. They had like this one planet, it's just one big city. The whole planet. Stand with it? No. Oh, oh, right. oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Trying to be good, but they like uh, they got something called smart cities. We saw basically trying to mobilize a big ass city where you can digitalize everything, and, that, and it's like the city is like literally one, it's like a whole. The hive mind. Yeah, the hive mind. Yeah, hey, right, that's spirit. I could be talking about that last time. Singularity and all that shit. Yeah. Hey, man. That's what it is. Say Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. 
But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. Yeah, dude. Till them days be short. Like these days be flying by like they ain't nothing, bro. This last year, it felt like it didn't exist to went by so quick. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't seen this brother in, what, six years or something? It felt like it was last week. You know what I mean? That's how fast it was. I feel like I just started teaching this word. I'm out here. <laughs> Time just flying, bro. Yeah, kind of plus, you know, all. Uh, basically, that also goes to like just like things just like getting worse. Or you know, just looking at that all uh, like that chip. All right, and you know all uh, like just all you know all these things. Or the five-year plan, this ten-year plan, fifteen years. Oh, yeah. Or seeing all these, you know, like all uh, like sci-fi movies about like you know like how the future is gonna be. Or you know, you know, it's just like disgusting as far as you know. Or you know, you know all. Uh, you know, just all this like wicked technology and things like that. Or you, you got nothing, you know, uh, or you, you know, uh, like people like altering, you know, the gender and shit like that. Or you, you don't have all, uh, you know, if it's not the kingdom, you don't, you don't, if you're in the right man, mind, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, you don't have all, uh, like, Jackson to look forward to, except for the kingdom. So I started noticing that more and more is beyond the truth, man. And the more and more you're in the truth, you start to realize, like, I, I can't stay here, man. I can't be here, man. Right, this shit is good, you know what I mean, man. Yeah. So that's why we out here screaming, crying out to the Lord to come save us out of this shit, bro. There's nobody want to live in this shit. I hate every fucking second of it. I wake up in the morning cursing my life. Like, fuck this shit. I'd rather, you'd rather be, be dead than live in this world. That's the scripture, you know what I mean? Yeah, like Job said, uh... The day of death is better than one's, the day of one's birth. Yeah, so I'd rather be a still child. Yep. I gotta say something. I'm speaking on time. But it's Matthew uh, 24 <laughs> and 36. The superhero. Right. Superhero. I love y'all, man. All right. You don't know me? I don't know you. You don't know you? Ain't that a bitch? I don't know. Ain't that a bitch? Everything in this world. <laughs> and everything. I don't know you, bro. <laughs> he said he loved us. Jake, we here. Jake talked to him. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 He was cool, but you know, you know, we got it. They want to play here. Great. Y'all got the lunatics out here, man. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Saint Asylum down the street. <laughs> There is. There actually used to be one not too long ago. They had a oh, big ass escape down on Harlem. Like a, like a, like a, like a damn. Right? They had to like shut it down and all like over the hill, over the streets. Damn. Hey, I don't want to say I hate him, right? I don't know the guy. Yeah. I probably do hate him, but you know. Self righteous. Hey, that's saying that's saying that I hate the that that the spot the most house. I think that's saying so. Yeah, the songs. Hey, but just we go, uh, Tom. Hey, this is Matthew 24, 36. It says, but of that day, and I will know, know, know man, know that the angel in heaven but the Father only. All right, yeah. So only the Lord know, only the Most High know when that end will come. Like, we don't know when the, when the end will come. Like, we just had that thing go by, that September, what is it, 23rd or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the rapture. Gay-ass Christians talking about the rapture is coming. You always got a new prediction, you know, every year, something new. I mean, I remember that 2012 thing. Yeah. Going through that. It's a lion calendar. Yeah, I mean, I was waiting years and years for that. Now, now 2012 is like distant past. Yeah. I remember waiting, like, it's five years away. We almost there. 2000, Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Y'all boy, be loving God. I understand what you read. Don't you love God too? The Lord don't love everybody. What's up? What up? No, haters alive. You got it, baby. <laughs> Stand in the name of Jesus. No haters alive.